Oh, hot dog. Nice ash. Covered up my ash fall. Check out my ash. That's a hot piece of ash. At least it's not some other girl's ash. It's yours. What's up today? What are we doing? We're gonna go on a hunt for volcanic ash. How do you find volcanic ash? What year was it? In uh, uh, 1912, there was yes. a volcano out here that blew up and it was huge. And it's it covered. It's actually a volcano in the Aleutians, right? Well, nearby. An Alaskan volcano. It blew up and it covered everything in ash. Places that had like five foot deep lakes got completely filled in. It was pitch black for three days straight. Hey log cabin structure and had like 20 rooms in it and it caught on fire and burned down and there were people that were like 200 feet away and had no idea that the whole building was on fire <laughs> i'm tired up the hill <laughs> go ahead remember the one that the guy got kind of stuck in the quicksand of it he got stuck in quicksand yeah. of ash and it took him two and a half hours to dig him out and then he died true maybe not oh did you find some yeah easy let's go find a bigger patch of it why did we learn about like quicksand awareness in elementary school? <laughs> Apparently, if you live in Alaska, volcanoes and quicksand can happen. And if you come rescue me, you gotta like get a door or something flat to like kind of. What if I don't come rescue you? Huh. <laughs> Be careful! There's bears around. Oh wow, that's somewhat fresh. Uh, you can see its foot, spine, and stuff. Gnarly! Run to a bear. That could be you. Hey. Is that the? The good ash spot? Yeah, there's deer fur in your hole. There's deer fur, son of a gun. Oh my gosh. It's pretty wet in there. Why don't you give it a couple of shovels and see what happens? Okay. Oh, hey. Hey, so since like pretty much the entire place got covered in ash, you can kind of just dig anywhere. Let's see. Decrypt up some moss. Most of the dirt's brown, obviously. It's dirt. But then if you go a little deeper, it's a rock. <laughs> Dang it. Let's see. There we go. There. See? So all that white is the, the ash. We're going to have to find a better spot. Now we're getting to it. Isn't it cool? This is like 100 years old. Yeah. 105 years old. 105 years old. It's kind of moist. We'll dry it out. Nice tool. This is how the natives take it. Ooh, baby. So what we're going to try to make is a, uh, I don't know, like a body scrub thing, I guess, right? You could buy really expensive face and body wash that have either volcanic ash and charcoal in it. So why should we spend the money when freebie ash? Another thing we're going to use this for, we have chinchilla. And chinchillas take dust bath in volcanic ash. Save some for her. The other crazy thing about this is that in a hundred years, it's only what, like two inches below the surface? Oh, hot dog. Hot dog. That's nice right there. Okay, put it in the bucket. Don't want to get dirt in our ash. I hate having a dirty ash. It's like beach sand almost. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh baby. I should be more than enough. I think we're good for now. I'd say we kind of clean up this hole a little bit though. This is gonna be our super secret. This is our harvest hole. This is our harvest hole. The whole it's all covered. Why do you need a secret <laughs> harvest hole? We feel like right there, right there. This is a good spot though. They're all good spots. Well. Shoot. You've got ash in your bucket, your bucket, your bucket. You know that song? Why are you walking away like you're not impressed? Hey. Because every year somebody sings that song during saltwater feeding and then for the rest of the year everybody has it stuck in their head. There's a hole like, in your bucket, no. your bucket, your bucket. I'm singing so the bears know we're coming. There's a hole in my bucket. Dear Liza, Liza, fix it, dear Liza. With what shall I fix it, dear How do you know this much of this song? Well, that's a rock that's not stuff? No, oh, it looks like it. I know it does. Woo! Nice ash. How many ash jokes do you think I can make? Probably about four. Oh, I could beat that. Well, the ash is uh, a little wet because nothing around here is ever dry. So we're going to spread it out on these sheets here and we're going to put it in the oven for a little while just to dry it out. Boom. That's a nice piece of ash. Get your hands all over that ash. You just covered up my ash fall. <laughs> See, you're working hard waiting for this ash to dry, huh? Come check out my ash. Looks pretty good. That's a hot piece of ash. <laughs> okay, are we doing it into this bucket? It's a big mixing bowl. Yeah, Look at that. That's, that's, that's. See that ash? Oh, 
Okay. You're doing a good job rubbing your ass. My, my joke. Rub, um, rubbing your ass. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's going to take a while. You made too many scoops. Uh, we're going to need the spruce tips. I was just thinking that. Chet gave me the camera and sent me on a mission. Sausage. Salmon. Oh my god. Our wedding topper. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. Good job. Come touch this. Whoa. Is that not the softest ash you've ever felt? It is, though. Wow, it's so fine. At least it's not some other girl's ash, it's yours. I'm gonna put a little bit of it to the side for Juniper when she wakes up tonight. She's gonna lose it. I'm gonna pick some fresh mint for our scrub. Okay, I'll come help. So why do we need mint? To make it smell good? Yeah. So it's gonna be a mint spruce tip blend. Cause that's what we have. Take like a, a chunk, it'll help it grow back thicker. Like this little guy right here? This guy's getting a little unruly, so we'll take him. He doesn't have manners. There you manners. go. Alright, here's a cool little trick is that to dry herbs and stuff. Microwave. So put your herbs in between paper towels, put them in the microwave. It also makes the house smell really good. Yeah. Smells like mint instead of ash. Thank you. Sounds dry. Perfect. So we've got a little sort of recipe kind of deal here. So we're gonna need 110 grams of our ash. Perfect. Go in the bowl. What's burned? Spruce tip powder. Round two of spruce tips dried. First Did, one's got burned. Don't tell them that. We got spruce tip. Dirt. Uh, what is it? Ash. What is it? This whole time I've been calling it ash and now I forget. Okay, what's next? Oh, oh, perfect. Six. Nicely done. I guess just throw it in. I don't know. Okay. Like I know what we're doing. 64 grams of herbal tea. Did you spill it over? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. 20 grams of vegetable glycerin. The one in special ingredient we bought just for this. What's it do? I don't know. It's what the recipe said. Oops. Whoa. Oh. Can I just put it in? Part of it's going to stick. See, it's stuck. There you go. Four There's the four stuck. grams. Perfect. Okay. Alright, we're a little thin. We're going to add more ash. Okay. Wait, wait. Is it done? Did we, did we do a thing? It smells really good. Oh, it's not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that looks like we did a real thing. Okay. Should we try it, I guess? Sure. I'm wash my you hands. You wash your hands? Ultimate test. Ooh, okay. Were we successful? What happened? I don't know. It's just a scrubby thing. <laughs> I think we did a thing. High five. No. <laughs> Why is it filming upside down? <laughs> it's upside down now? I don't know what you did. Okay, rinse it off and tell me how you feel. Okay. Wow. Isn't that nice? It's so soft. I think we did awesome. Five. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's good stuff. How do I look? Do I, I really can't see because I'm not quite tall enough. Come, hey, <laughs> come back. Try to do something nice for her. Come here! There is dust! Straight from a volcano! There it is! Oh baby! Finally! Oh baby! Oh god, the footprints! <laughs> <laughs> Juniper! Volcano okay, dust is definitely chinchilla approved! She likes it. Whoa, she's high. <laughs>